Uh, we were hoping that David Brent was going to be in the studio as well with us. Uh, if you're watching... I'm coming up, so we better get this party started. Shamon! <laughs> 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 David Brent's here, everyone. <laughs> David, would you like to take a, a seat hello, there? Hello. How are you, David? Good, good. Shall I put this on? Yeah. Do you, have you put them on before? Have you it's part of it? Yeah. Yeah, I used to DJ in Chasers and Slap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big time. Big time. <laughs> How lovely to probably meet you. You've been with us all day. Yeah. We've been filming stuff in the office. Yeah. Has it been easy for you? Because you're like a chilled out entertainer anyway, aren't you? I, well, I'm a boss. Come, come a bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a friend first, boss second, and probably an entertainer third. Yeah, so just take it in my stride, chilling out. Yeah, <laughs> with you lot, mentalist. You, <laughs> you've you've never great. been to talk to before, have you? No. Uh, is it is it something you'd like to do? Would you like to be like a professional DJ I, or presenter? I, or? Easily could easily do it, but um, no, it's not my bag. Not my bag. Yeah. I'm making loads of bunts at the moment, selling cleaning products. So, right, okay. big time. Yeah? You enjoy yeah. it? Yep. Right. Um, people... <laughs> 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 if you've got YouTube, please go to YouTube. You can have oh. a look at David. We've, we've set up some scenarios for you. If you haven't got YouTube, where have you been? Living under a rock. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, please, can we keep you forever? <sighs> um, we're going to talk to someone else that looks like you in a bit. Okay. Right. Yeah. He's in the room with us as well. Equally as handsome. Yeah? Yeah. But before that, we've set up some scenarios we want to get your view on, okay? Shoot. Now, we all know how good of a motivational speaker you are, okay? But have a listen to this. Former Liverpool and England striker Michael Owen has been speaking on the Upfront with Simon Jordan podcast about how much of a, a mentality monster he was, even as a child. Have a listen, David. You know, everything was a challenge. I'd eat an apple in the, you know, watching the, the, the TV at night. Right. And the bin would be by the TV, you know, six metres away or whatever it was. And, well, I would just do it. I had the bravery to to miss and for there to be a stain on the wallpaper and my mum to absolutely scream at me. Um, And that confidence, that sort of daring, that uh, and that's what I always yearned as a kid. Do you um, you think throwing apples in the bin is a good way to motivate? Um, No. Not really. Um, staining the wallpaper, that's probably going a bit far. Uh, yeah, definitely. Anything. Anything like that. Yeah. I do that sort of stuff. How would you motivate staff in the office? What would you do? I'd probably use orange peel um, and oranges because more citrus yeah. and easier to that's throw. Easier. Yeah. Much easier. Yeah, more aerodynamic. All right. Uh, motivation <laughs> people in, in the office... Um, oh, probably pay them more bunts. I always find that's a bit of a motivator. <laughs> can, <laughs> I t- burn a nice little can I talk to you, Tim, Oliver? Yeah. Is that all right? Will you understand my Glaswegian accent, though? Is, have you got a... Very strong. You haven't got a Glaswegian accent. Oh, yes, I have. That's no, I haven't. <laughs> no. Hello, people all say to me, oh, are you using your real voice now? And I go, yeah. Well, I don't even know if you're you This now. is my real voice. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. How nice to meet you, Tim. Lovely to you, meet you, Andy. You've come in with your son, Harry. Yep. This is what you do for a living. It is. 20 years. Oh, See, God, I've got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stop. All right, I'm going to stop. I'll stop. Okay. You've been doing... You've, you've been impersonating David Brent for 20 years. Yeah. Okay, if people can't see, if they're not watching on YouTube, you, you look the part, so you've got the goatee, the greased back hair and the, the suit and so on. Mm-hmm. Is it... When The Office came out, okay... Did on the first day it was aired, did people, your friends, go, Oh my God, have you seen The Office? You look exactly like David Brent. Yeah. Well, the first thing was the voice as well. People, my, I had a, I used to run an events business. Hey, you can't look at me seriously, can you? But this is my real voice, mate. <laughs> but it's the so, same voice. I know, but my, I had a PA at the time when I ran this events business, and she went, This fella on this documentary sounds exactly like you. And I'm like, Oh, okay. What? You really? know, let's, let's, <laughs> oh. Oh, don't you know? Um, but then, it's amazing. And, and yeah, I watched it and I thought, yeah, I'm never ever going to do that. And I, I didn't want to do it at first, but then, yeah, I, people just kept approaching me all the time, and I thought it would be criminal if I didn't do something. Yeah. About it. So yeah. I how went. many how many times have you watched The Office? When I first started, <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? Probably hundreds of times, mate. When I first started, but I haven't. I don't. I sort of dip in 
and out every now and then. But yeah, I don't really need it, to. It, I'm just... It's very difficult, I would imagine, for you to not be David Brent. So your wonderful son Harry is outside. Yeah. Okay. And I spoke to him when you were, you filmed loads of stuff for us throughout the day. And we basically remade The Office, which we're going to put out on social media. Yeah. Um, but I was talking to him while you were doing stuff on camera, and I was like, is your dad ever your dad? And he said, no. My dad is basically David Brent. <laughs> All right? And I said, do you mind it? And he went, I absolutely love it. It's the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. I said, but even at home, like if your wife, his mum says, like, do you want a cup of tea? Do you, does he ever go, oh, don't you know? And he's like, yeah, all the time. Do you find it really difficult to slip out of it for a long period of time? Um, I... <sighs> Even now. It is part of me, I think. And I think I've... And also, my wife's never offered me a cup of tea. Right. Um, <laughs> but, no, I... It's just the... I'm just being me. I, I think I'm being me, but that could be like a psychological... I could be... Damaged. Damaged. Yeah, I, maybe. I don't know. But I've always... But no, is it difficult for you to go out? Because when you're in a pub, like with your mates... Right? Are people yeah. constantly going, oh, it's David Brent's David Not Brent. constantly. After a few beers, they do. Right. They really do. But um, if they haven't been, they might nudge each other and go, oh, look, it's that. A lot of them come up to me now and go, oh, you're that bloke from TikTok, which is great. Oh, because yeah. you do TikTok, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, or, oh, I follow you on LinkedIn or whatever, you know, people, you know. Yeah. How long have you seen it? 20 years you've been doing it? 20 years. When you first started it, how long did you think it would go on for? Oh, five years if that because so you look at so Brent weird. I know but you're but, even sorry even your mannerisms like when you laugh and you speak in your laugh that's how Brent laughs right yeah so that's exactly the same which presumably I, that wasn't you I've lost my identity yeah Randy. sorry answer Bennett's question sorry I, I, didn't my I think because I didn't I don't think many people realised what an icon Brent would be um, you know he goes up he's up there with Del Boy and Basil Fawlty and he's he's just yeah. an absolute legend and I'm very lucky to, to be you know riding those coattails of Ricky's most popular character. Where where's the job taking you? Everywhere, Australia. This is Brent. I'm big down under. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I've been to Oz a few times. Wow. Um, yeah, Ricky won't go there. So it's too far. Right. Too many poisonous creatures. Um, but yeah, I go I go over there. I go, I'm all over. You know, people take me on conferences on corporate, you know, to do award ceremonies or whatever and in, and host awards and stuff. And they just take me everywhere. Monaco, wow. just everywhere, you know, wherever there's a conference. And this is your job now, right? You've been doing it. This I've is your job for years, 20 years. 20 years. I've been to so many places, mate, yeah. Have you yeah. ever met him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I met him. Interview. I got a call from a, a magazine which I don't think is around anymore called Total Film Magazine. And the journalist went, um, Will you interview Ricky for us as uh, David Brent? And I said, How much? The first question. <laughs> <laughs> and, he goes, um, and he told me, and, and I said, um, Yeah, but does he know you're asking me to do this? He said, Yeah, he's asked us to ask you. Wow. So he wanted to meet me. And I won't tell you the first thing he said. To I, me. I think I told you earlier. Yeah. But yeah, and the first thing he said to me. Positive, was, was negative? Funny, positive. Oh, funny and yeah good and then I was his body double in the Muppets you know he's in the Muppet movie yeah. wasn't he? He was just, I was his body double in that why did, he need, why did he need a body double in because he kept going to America because he was making other things right you know and I'm, I, they kept getting me in so what scenes are you in who are you with are you with Kermit I, I skated with Miss Piggy <laughs> not many people can say that could they <laughs> um, never met Kermit I think he was jealous because right. I was with Miss Piggy maybe he was with Ricky filming somewhere else probably maybe he took probably. him with him That's <laughs> probably <right>. was yeah <laughs> laugh is exactly the same isn't it <laughs> oh god yeah. it's because it's so, you're right it's such an iconic character it really is and the other ones you mentioned who did you mention you mentioned Del Boy yeah see see, the, there was a programme on I, was it ITV that made yeah. you famous what was that called lookalikes lookalikes yeah. so there was a Del Boy on it, that it was on channel 4 well, well there was loads right. we had we were getting people over from the states we had Tom Cruise um, Robert De Niro we just it, it was, was an amazing show oh, it was so much fun make, making that it any, was any just, Denzel Washington there there wasn't um, Mr Sidney Poitier okay was, <laughs> did you was, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of my favourite actors of all time. Um, no, there was... Um, oh, there was loads of... Loads Did of, you enjoy doing it? How, so, presumably, before that show was made, you didn't have representation? You weren't doing it full-time, or...? No, I was just being a job in lookalike. Wow. Yeah, acting as Brent at 
different events, which is has been great for 20 years. Can you can you recite the whole of the office because he's obsessed with it, Andy and Fletcher who reads the news and every single day they're doing parts of the thing and laughing and joking about it. Could you recite the whole office? Uh, probably, but don't test me. I'm not going to, but I'm just... No. Uh, probably, yeah. But you, when we were filming stuff earlier on, I was throwing stuff at you. You were coming up with ideas from the office, so obviously yeah. you're a huge fan of it. Yeah, massive fan. Yeah, Rick is genius, isn't he? Yeah, he's you know, everything genius. Everything he does. I've, 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 I've um, acted as um, Derek a few times, okay. which I love. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, your, can I, your laugh that you just did there, Yeah, that's Gervais's laugh, right? Probably. So you haven't got your own laugh anymore. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. It's what mad. What sort of a human being am I? <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Um, people watching this and listening and would have seen my Instagram, Andy Gosling 05, we're going to put it out on the talk sport. They would see you. How do they get in contact with you? Because your work is fantastic. I would imagine so many more people want to yeah. want to hire you after this. How do they do that? I'm everywhere over the worldwide interweb. Okay. Um, What's your name on... Ricky Inst- Gervais Lookalike. At Ricky Gervais Lookalike. Yep. They can find you there, yeah. Yeah, or David Brent lookalike. Or okay. my real name, Tim Oliver. Tim yeah. Oliver. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tim, can, attention. I, can I ask you to throw to... Uh, oh, I've got, a, I've got a link here to, to a break. Would you mind throwing to the break? Uh, oh, is it Team News now? Is it, is it Team News now? Would you mind throwing for Team News? Is that all right? I don't... That's Ricky Gervais. Yeah, as David Brent, I, rather. As David whatever Brent. that means. <laughs> yeah, so can you read that? Throwing. I know Finchy through a kettle over a building um can you, a man oh, city yeah okay you got that they're in champions league action this evening over the talks walk two from 545 exclamation mark <laughs> yeah they're up against red star belgrade ian danta is your commentator for the one and and hang on has the team <laughs> new I'm, i wouldn't be very good at this he has the team news for us now Bring in dance. <laughs> Cheers, Brett Meister General. Thank you very much indeed. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.